I'm very, very proud of it. I jokingly call it the largest small record label in North Evanston. Norman is a dear friend of mine. He has been a fingerstyle guitar player for years. Uh, we used to go hear John Fahey together back in the early 70s and that style of kind of primitive Americana guitar tinged with flavors of, of Indian music. His tunes have a tremendous amount of structural integrity and forward momentum and they're all interesting. We ended up with a beautiful CD and only after he recorded did he let me know that yeah, Howard, I, I'm kind of hearing you playing harmonica on some of this. I said, really? And then he said, it'd be really nice if Gene Friesen played cello on a few things. I said, well, Gene was in town. Gene's the cellist in Trio Globo. And then he got his friend David Amram to play Penny Whistle and Ocarina on two tracks. And he also recorded a violinist named Susan Mitchell, who he'd been playing with in, in this restaurant uh, in New York for a number of years. But Norman found some beautiful, uh, uh, some beautiful artwork, and I'm really, really proud of the way that this CD looks as well as the way it sounds. There was one period of time where I was, uh, I didn't. I didn't have that many gigs and Fox was out of the country and I was spending a lot of time by myself and working on piano things a lot at the house. And I started recording things that I was playing just spontaneously, like waking up in the morning uh, before I would even eat breakfast. Some things were uh, spontaneous improvisations on piano and harmonica together. And after a while I realized, you know, I'm making a CD here. And then I got real serious about it and said, okay, what else do I need that's not on here? See, I have this kind of tune and that kind of tune, and I need a solo piano piece. I need a solo harmonica thing. Maybe I'll do one with multiple harmonicas. Um, I did a lot of experimentation with playing a harmonica track first and then figuring out what I had played and, and overdubbing piano, which is really backwards from the way most people would do it and uh, Joel Fox uh, helped me uh, a bunch on editing some of these tracks and also uh, the mixing. And uh, this fellow named Bob Kessler uh, did the artwork because uh, he was a harmonica student of mine and uh, a wonderful professional photographer and took these photos right here where I recorded the CD and uh, it really has a nice organic feeling. Uh, you can look at the pictures and see exactly where I did it. I called it alone and together because I was alone, but I was together. And sometimes I played piano alone and sometimes I played piano and harmonica together. It's sort of, uh, and it's also a pun on uh, the tune alone together, which is a jazz standard, but it's not alone together. And I don't play alone together on the CD. <laughs> so it's a little inside jazz humor there. I had a, an injury to my hand one summer, and I, I, really was, I really couldn't play piano for about a month. And it made me sit and think, okay, I can't play piano for a month. Maybe there's some other things I could do besides playing harmonica. How about all this stuff that's been sitting around? This is a, a wonderful band with Chris Siebold and Pat Fleming on guitars and Larry Coad on bass. And I found uh, a really, really good recording that I had done in a studio with the band. And I combined that together with some live concert uh, mixes that Joel Fox had done at a concert at a church in Evanston. Then there was some recordings that were made uh, in Larry Kohut's living room. And then the, the fourth bunch of tracks were uh, recorded on one stereo mic at Cafe Express, no longer existing, in Evanston. And the band Acoustic Express partially got its name from that. The challenge was to find a flow of the music and also to unify the sound of all of these different mixes. 
different kinds of tunes, uh, blues, Brazilian things, uh, things from uh, that I've written, uh, Beatles tunes, uh, and I'm just playing harmonica on this one. I'm probably going to release a classical, a, a CD of my classical harmonica playing, which includes a performance, uh, a, a studio recording with the Czech National Symphony in, that I did in Prague with Paul Freeman conducting, a performance of my chamber suite, Harmonia Mundi, the first ever performance of it live. It's a great recording with the Rembrandt Chamber Players of Chicago, and a duet of myself with marimba player Dane Richeson playing a piazzola piece originally written for flute and guitar, and we did it on harmonica and marimba. And so that is going to tentatively come out um, during the end, at the end of winter of 2011, in time for my, the three performances that I'm going to give of the concerto with orchestras, one in the U.S. and two in Europe.